Yo, 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 man, it's your boy Kato Media, and yes, I am back with another one. Now, what are we talking about on today's discussion, man? Corey Holcomb just gave his opinion on the whole Judge Mathis and Linda situation. Now, before we get started, man, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff, so you can know when your boy is dropping. How do y'all feel? 39 years of marriage. What do you do after that? What happens after that, man? Let's listen to what Corey had to say. And we're going to dissect the whole thing. Let's go, man. This culture we live in. <laughs> Greg Mathis. <laughs> wife. Has decided. To put. A 62 year old vagina back out there in the game. The judge. Method? His wife is. Wife, yeah, is, they is filed for divorce. She filed for divorce. And I just do not understand what the ladies of America who are over a certain age think when they leave their husbands. What do you think is in this world for you? Let, I'm going to just say 50 plus. I'm going to just say 50 plus. 50 plus leaving your husband what do you think in this world for you besides fake tits and ass and dick from strangers? I just can't imagine what you could be. What are you going to find out there? She was married to this man 39 years. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we, <laughs> as a man, I don't root for no man to be going through divorce because, I, you know what I'm saying? That's part of my story. Even though Judge Mathis used to say something I really used to disagree with. When Judge Mathis used to say, whenever you get pregnant by a man, you're supposed to put him on child support no matter what he doing. I'm like, nah, my dude. You don't have the woman go down there and try to split the family. You don't encourage that. Child support is a form of splitting the family. It's um, a calculated way to bring the families um, in chaos. Mm -hmm. But... I don't recall Judge Mathis saying that. Now, I could be wrong, but I think what Judge Mathis would say is for the guys that, you know, dealing with women or whatever like that, put yourself on child support because if you're making payments outside of the system, she can easily go to the court and then they're going to get you for back child support. So he was like, you know, don't play yourself short like that. In so many words, he was saying, put yourself on child support. Now, I don't know what Corey is speaking on. I can't really validate that. I'm not for sure. You know, I have been watching Judge Mathis for some years now. So I haven't heard him say that one particular thing. But if he said, I wouldn't be shocked. But uh, let me continue on. Judge Mathis' wife leaving him. I just, I just don't understand what is... Why would men get married in America? What benefit can you get if you are a man who has any works in America? Now, if you're a dude who just got out of jail, marriage is perfect for you. But if you have been working and you plan on working, why would you marry a woman? You have to have the courage for to just be like, look, ma'am, I really like your meat, but... <laughs> I, I will not let it destroy me. <laughs> if I marry you, I am agreeing to a contract that will destroy everything I've worked for. So as much as I like your meat, I might even like your soul and spirit. I cannot go and let you put me on papers for the system. Look how cute they were when they were young. Look at that. I mean, you can look at that. Yeah, he, I heard he got married when he was 25. Can you imagine getting married at 25 and make it all the way to here and your wife left? And I'm going to talk about his wife leaving in a second. I just want to, I, I want if y'all want to say something, y'all can say something. Because I know what's going to happen. Yeah, it, did they say the reason why she left? No, nobody uh, knows the yeah, reason why. Yeah, and, and anytime they Everybody told... speculates. I, I got a speculation on why, but I'm saying. Yeah. It's like. No. Craig, you happened. laughing it off. But you are speaking from that's. That, he's she, been successful how long? No, but I mean, sometimes people, uh, when they jealous, they try to weaponize why does it their absence. Happen? They figure, you know, they be in denial about how much 
they've contributed to your progress and sometimes people want to test the market or hurt you by being absent absent so they can prove to themselves that they're a bigger part of your success than they really are you heard lebron wife no i think i understand exactly what craig is saying but judge mathis has said plenty of times where you know his wife played a influential part in his life like he was basically going down the wrong path and she made him straighten up you know the stories that he tell um and that was the reason why he became a judge he, he really does give props to his wife 100 percent um jealousy i don't know unless something new came along and i i just don't see it being behind jealousy because they've been together for years you know judge math has been having his fame so uh, I, I can't really touch on that way man but let me continue on he said this is my wife she said i'm not your wife i'm your partner Shout out to wow this is what i'm saying like I, you know we miss some of these internet stories because yeah. we do our own yes, shit. yeah but i'm saying like the, you know like a woman like lebron wife if she left him it would just be another um point to my argument yeah why would you get married to a woman that was raised in the states they 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 they, they have no training on how to control their envy you, you're a woman you're jealous you're like demonic with it like 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 we can talk about this i want to talk about this this man, I am not, I don't, I'm not saying I agree with everything Judge Matthew says, because I don't. Some things he said, I just be like, wow. Yeah. But if a woman is married to you for 30, see, you don't understand also, y'all may not know, they moved from Detroit to out here. Okay. Right, they started getting. Yeah, go ahead, D. I, I, I was just gonna say <laughs> that I believe a big, Keep it real, D. No, I know, but I believe a big portion of it is that they started to See, I don't know what she did besides. You, you was gonna say it. something. Let it out, coming, D. You coming. might tell. Bring the what? truth out, you D. No, I think when you start involving Hollywood and all that phoniness on top of your relationship, you're asking for that. You're it's it's interfere. It's big interference because yeah. you know they came in. They did the the reality show. You start getting the kids involved. Then you get ex other money, yeah. eh. and then you know he already had previous stories i don't know okay i don't know if you guys have seen the what are the previous stories because i all i see of course, is, all i see is him holding his wife up in the i know air. but it, but of Judge course Matthews, there was there was some yeah. infidelity stuff because it was somebody that was saying they were pregnant oh yeah wait 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 a second now this this do you know this for a fact for a fact L listen now listen you can look it up listen. We listen no 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 listen many years ago when when um wendy williams was heavy on the radio right they if you look it up they, the have, they have one of the worst or if somebody wants I heard that, that exchange that, between wow. him and Wendy Williams I was say that one of the well, worst Wendy Williams exchanges. was trying to but do the her. same thing people do to me she was coming with all this shit but where's the proof but here's the thing though that's what she did at the time of her show he went on there so I I'm not saying it's okay I've never agreed with a lot of this he stuff. got that bitch but he over talked he, that bitch he man he got her good but I'm just saying that that there was stuff previously like that and they made it through because that was many years ago so they still stayed together i, I mean make who one knows? another point and wait listen and a What's lot say? of After her, and a lot of point. people the one of the most popular if not the popular reason that couples get divorced is irreconcilable differences now do you know what that means actually? that means what the that bitch covers? ain't got a solid reason for pulling the <laughs> sucker shit <laughs> It, it, That's what irreconcilable differences mean. <laughs> I really can't think of why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. That's what irreconcilable differences mean. On either person's part. So what it set means is fundamental disagreements or conflicts that are impossible to resolve or harmonize. In other words, they supposedly, whatever conflicts they're trying to resolve, they can never come to an agreement. So, but who, but why would you, I mean, just say, okay. We, we can't figure this out, but we love each other. That See, my thing yeah. to, to, at the end of the day is that. Like, yeah. when people do it, you got all these kids, you got all that substance, all those years together. I, I don't get it yet. At this point, when it's this long and you'd never really heard no horrible stuff about them, 
I say why. Because it's just you, you're older mm. now. I know why. Mm. Okay, go ahead. Well, we're no. seeing now again, we're assuming, right? Mm. You're making assumptions. I don't have to assume. I'm telling you what happens in the United States you know, of America. And you can look at the statistics mm. and it'll show you. All right. Well, it's pretty hard to argue that. But, Craig, you had a point. Yeah, I think it's avoidance, too. I don't know, man. Like, um,. I think it's just egos, if you ask me. Like, when you get to a certain age, man, you you know, they probably, they used to doing certain things a, a certain type of way. You start getting irritated. And I know at that age, man, I can only imagine. I mean, they done been through, you know, ups and downs with each other. They done had kids with each other. It's, it's just a lot. But at that age, you just want peace you I, should, I want peace now so i can only understand what somebody is going through at that age you know what i mean um it's just crazy i'm not gonna lie to you 25 and then you getting divorced 39 years it's like all right what what are we doing right now like we might as well thug it out but i have seen situations like that before and uh, a man would really stick around you know, because of the kids and they trying to save face for the family, for the kids. And they not really happy. It's the same way with the woman. You know what I mean? Like they probably be burnt out and they only making it work because of the kids. Sometimes you can't do it because of the kids. The kids are grown now. So you got to move on your own beat. Um, but how do y'all feel about Corey's sentiments, man? Do y'all agree? Do y'all disagree? Tell me how you really feel about this whole situation, man. It's your boy, Kato Media, and like that, I am out.